Hello, everybody. Okay, so I have a fancy Blu-ray player. Um, it's an Oppo BDP-105, and it works great. I really like it. Um, as far as audio-video source device, it's wonderful, and I really like that it has a whole bunch of inputs, um, so I can actually use it with other audio sources and video sources um, coming into my system. So, in general, it's great. But I have some new speaker equipment, and I wanted to use the USB DAC interface so I could run my PC, um, use software like Room EQ Wizard, and have the signal generation and stuff in the software go through the super high frequency um, digital audio conversion in the BDP-105, and then send analog output through the XLR connections and stuff into my preamp um, so that the BDP-105 is doing um, all the processing. and I run into a snag where it won't um, change from 44.1 kilohertz. Um, it'll work on that all the time, but trying to change to other formats, um, it seems to hit a snag. I think I figured it out. Um, so I wanted to do this just as a walkthrough and see if I can convince myself and maybe show um, what it was that got it working. So in the manual, it talks about the USB DAC connection, uh, talks about how it'll do 96 kilohertz. Um, or all the way up to 192 kilohertz uh, through the USB, uh, which is what I wanted to get. I don't really need to do the 192. I actually am going to just be using 96 kilohertz. But in any event, um, the problem I was having was that if I tried to um, run at anything other than 44.1, it just would lock up and wouldn't generate any sound. Um, so I reached out to the Oppo technical support, and they promptly responded, which is great. And they wanted to know which version of Windows I'm using, what software I'm using to play the files, and what type of files am I playing. Um, so just to answer those specific questions first. Um, so in the system information, this is build 19.402 of Windows 10, 64-bit. That's the Windows version that I'm running. And what I'm trying to use is just the um, sound control panel in Windows, at least to get things tested. So eventually I will be using other software like Room EQ Wizard um, or TrueRTF, but there is this little Oppo USB control panel um, that shows the current sample rate. And if I go into the audio sound settings, it shows that the BDP-105 is the default device. And right now I have my microphone set to um, another device. And I think this is actually what I was running into is the problem. Because when, by default, when you install the Oppo drivers and stuff, it set my audio input device to the same thing. So it was they were both the Oppo BDP-105 USB um, audio 2.0 input. So changing this to another input device, I think, is actually what's made it work for me. So just to review the way I'm trying to demonstrate it, if we go into the control panel, And I go down to the right input. So down here are the speakers on the BDP-105. We go into its properties, the advanced settings. So right now it's at 44.1 kilohertz. It agrees in the sample rate of the control panel. If I test, we get the audio the way one would expect. So now um, if I switch this, so we bump it up to 48 do apply. It gives me this funny warning about other devices using, or other software using the device. But if we do the test now, it does play the audio and it changes um, the current sample rate. So I think things are working now, and this is the way I would expect it to behave. So for example, if we go back and we bump it all the way up to like 24-bit 192 kilohertz, apply, okay, test. Okay, so it does seem to be working now, and I'm getting the right sample rate in the um, oppo control panel. Everything appears to be good. So let me just set it the way that it was and demonstrate the malfunction that I was seeing. So like I said, after I installed the drivers, 
Um, and actually, you know, the display on the thing when it's not in the screensaver shows what the settings are currently. So right now it's at 19.2. If we switch this back to the oppo. And now we try and do the same operations that we were just doing. We go back to the sound control panel. We try and test it. See, so this is what I was saying before. It jumps back to 44.1 kilohertz. Um, and if I go into the properties, and set it back to 41, this may or may not work. In previous testing, I had seen it working at 44.1, but at nothing else. Okay, so now we're hearing it, it's working at 44.1. If I try and do the same thing where we just bump it up to 48, apply, Okay, now we test it. It doesn't work. And it stays at 44.1. So I think the problem is if the recording has the line input from the BDP-105 as the input and you're trying to use the output, it doesn't like that. So if I switch this back so that my blue snowball um, is the default microphone. I wonder if just by doing that by itself will fix it. So we're stop testing. Test again. No. Let's try changing properties just a little bit. So 44. Okay, so at 44, it's working. Pop it up to 48. And now it is working again. So it changes the sample right here to 48, played the sound. And I wonder, this is, okay, so I'm going to do a test that I haven't done before. If we switch it back to the oppo, but we change the sample rate in here for the input, I wonder if that'll make it copacetic. So like here, if we want to bump this all, what I'm really going to be using is um, 96 kilohertz. So let's try that. I go back to playback. Oh, interesting. That changed the sample rate immediately. Usually when I just change the audio output, it waits until a sound is generated to make it. So maybe that's the devices that are conflicting, trying to use the same hardware. So now both of them are 24-bit 96 kilohertz. Okay, that does seem to work. So in my application, I actually don't understand how I would get the sound output from the um, uh, oppo to be useful for me. So I'm never gonna leave that as the default input device. So I think just releasing that input and using the output only um, makes it so that I can change the frequencies. Let's just see if we bump it all the way back up to 192. Yep, and it's working. Okay, so I think I I can see that the problem was when it wasn't working for me, and even just now in these tests, is if it's set to have the oppo 
line input as the default input device, and that's not set at the same frequencies that you're trying to use the Oppo BDP USB audio 2.0 DAC output. If those are consistent, it looks like it is working. Um, otherwise, it looks like it's not. So I think that's the real problem that I was seeing, and there's no cause for concern, but I'm going to share this video and stuff with the um, Oppo support, and maybe it'll be helpful to somebody else down the line. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy. Drive safe. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.